All right, Shalom. First off, I want to say all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahushai, Bahashem Kudash, double honor to our apostles and elders of GMS, and uh, to the elect who work in sincerity and the truth. Shalom. Uh, this is uh, GMS Precepts, Nazar Khud here. And uh, real quick, I'm going to go right into the lesson. Um, the title of the lesson is If You Can't Get It, We're Moving On. Right? So that's pretty uh, self explanatory. Um, this message is only for. A, a, a select few okay um and if you can't understand it it's simple the most high doesn't want you to get it right it's uh matter of fact before i start let me get matthews let me get matthews 13 this is straight out of the lord's mouth right matthews 13 and where can i start nine <clears throat> i'm gonna start at nine right Matthew 13 and 9, it says, Who hath ears to hear, let him hear. And the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest unto them in parables? So he, even this verse or this right here, what, what the Lord said, Who hath the ears to hear, let him hear. He's already making a separation. He's already telling you that not everybody's going to get it. Not everybody's going to understand it or not everybody's chosen to get it ultimately, right? It says, verse 10, it says, And the disciples came and said unto him, Why speak as unto them in parables? Right? Why do you speak unto the people in those deep, dark, allegoric s statements? And he's about to answer. He said, He answered and said unto them, Because it is, because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the, of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. Okay? So he's, he's clearly showing you a separation of people that get it and people that won't, won't get it. And the people that do get it, they're going to receive, receive ultimately, ultimately, they're going to receive salvation. The people that don't get it, they're going to receive judgment. And this is why when people don't understand this, we don't bust our brains or, or pop a blood vessel because they, un, because they don't understand it. We already know there's going to be a, there's a, a select few. There's going to be a, a group of that do understand it and a group that don't understand it. The group that don't understand it are the two-thirds of Israel. Right, and if you go to Zechariah 13, clearly states what's going to happen to the two thirds of Israel, and there's a one third of Israel that will get it, and we understand what's going to happen with them. They're going to receive deliverance, pursuing a revelation. Um, what is it, the seventh chapter? Okay, well, hell, it even says that also in uh, Zechariah the 13th chapter, the the one third. Okay, all right. So there's a group that will understand it, and there's a group that doesn't understand it. and if you don't understand it just like the theme of this whole video we moving on or the spirit is moving on the spirit is not concerned with people that don't understand it okay so i'm gonna go to the first scripture i have is in revelation which is pretty you know and most of these scriptures are pretty plain doesn't you know need too much of a breakdown this is revelation 22 and 11 it says he that is unjust, let him be unjust still. And he which is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. Right? So that first part is going into the niggas or the people that don't get it. Right? The unjust. Right? It says, he that is unjust, let him be unjust still. He, that, he which is filthy, let him be filthy still. Meaning, don't concern yourselves with the ones that are unjust the ones that are filthy, the ones that are not righteous, the ones are that are that just can't understand it, right? Because it tells you that, um, what is that in Corinthians? Let me get that. What is that? First Corinthians, the third chapter. Let me get that. Third, oh, I'm sorry, the third chapter. Uh, no, no, excuse me. Or is it? It could be the second chapter. Let me see. What third? Three and six. Right. It says, I'll start at 1 Corinthians 3 and 5. Who then is Paul? Who then is a, who is a, and who is Apollos? <clears throat> but ministers by whom ye believed, even as the Lord gave to every man. I have planted, here's a point. I have planted, Apollos watered, but the Most High gave the increase. Meaning it's the Most High that, does, that does, uh, that's, you know, it's the Most High that does, decides who can understand it and who won't understand it. Right, because anybody could break down the scriptures or prophecy the same way, and people receive it the same way, 
but it's up to the most high if it triggers in your spirit to to, to truly understand it and that we, we we could see her clearly there's countless examples day in and day out of people that hear what we hear but they it just doesn't click with their spirit right if it doesn't click with your spirit guess what you are amongst you are part of the two-thirds club simple right so then neither is he that planteth anything, neither that neither he that watereth, but the most high giveth the increase, meaning it's the most high that chooses who can receive this message and who won't receive this message. Now he that planteth and he that watereth are one, and every man shall receive his own reward according to his own labor. That was a point I wanted. Uh, let me go back to Revelation, read that again. Revelation twenty two and eleven, he that is unjust, let him be unjust still. He that he which is filthy, let him be filthy still, and he that is righteous, let him be righteous still, and he that is holy, let him be holy still. Right? That's pretty self explanatory. Next scripture is in Psalms ninety two. Uh six is the point, but I'm gonna start at four. It says, For the Lord has made me glad through thy work, I will triumph in the works of thy hands. O Lord, how great are thy works! And thy thoughts are very deep. A brutish man knoweth not, neither doth a fool understand this, right? So what does a brutish man not understand? What does a fool also does not understand or not know? The great work, works of the, of the Most High, right? Because the times that we're living in, you know, if, if a person that understands sees the times that we're living in and sees that it's very bad times. we got this... The, this pandemic happening we have the restrictions we have the um esau is really cracking down on all his <clears throat> all his um legislation his laws it's a tightening of the ship uh they're talking about um vaccine passports they're talking about mandatory va vaccinations they're talking about uh, uh, rfid chips being planted in in people to monitor um, the 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 uh, economy's all in shambles. We got a retarded, retarded president who can't even speak. He hasn't made a public a a, a, a press conference. Um, and, you know, since he, since he's been in office, which is the longest in over a hundred years that a president has hasn't taken, hasn't had a press conference, right? Um, the the, the other day he had a. He was doing a live feed, and he he was like, "Yeah, I'll take any questions." And then his feed just cut off. All right, so they're they're like protecting this old retard because he's he's uh he's he's had some clear cognitive issues, man. But anyway, um, um, so all these things are happening, so people would see like, "Yo, man, this is this is some very this is this is we're really in a bad situation," but. If you understand scripture, if you understand prophecy, we're really in a good time right now. We're we're witnessing, you know, the if if we're witness we're witnessing the downfall of the society, which means that the next one, the next society, the next superpower, which which prophecy states is right around the corner, right? Let me get that in uh let me get that in Apocrypha. Let me prove that. Get that in Apocrypha, second Ezra's the sixth chapter. Uh, six, right? Second Ezra six. Let me get the standard right. This is Second Ezra six and seven. Then I answered. Then, then answered I and said, What shall be the parting and son of times, or or when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that followeth? And he said unto me, From Abraham unto Isaac. When Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the hill of Esau, for Esau is the end of the world. Here's a point, but Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. Now we know, according to prophecy, before the Lord will come, before the Lord returns, before Israel or Jacob becomes that top nation, Esau is going to rule. So Esau has to go down before Jacob and the Lord returns and delivers all Israel and becomes king of kings, lord of lords. So this part's happening right now. Esau's end of the world, we're witnessing. All these bad things, their infightings of uh, wars and rumors of wars. We are witnessing the end of Esau, man, the end of his rule. So they, we are living in some very, very good times right now. But if you don't understand, if you don't know anything, you would think that we're living in some real fucked up times, man. But really, this is these are 
glory well, what's the what's the word it says oh lord how great are thy works and thy thoughts are very deep so the, we're living in some very great times right now it's just that the unlearned don't understand it or don't see it right or the fool doesn't see it right that's what the brutish man knoweth not or the fool understand or not understand they don't understand that the times we're living in is very great right second scripture uh, second timothy's 3 and 13 but evil, now this is speaking about the last days, right? This whole chapter, difficult times will come. This is Second Timothy, the third chapter. This also, that in the last days, right, perilous times shall come, right? So this is what we're living in. We're witnessing or we're living in the perilous times in the last days. And it's, 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 it's going to get worse. It's all going to get worse. And it gives you examples of what's going to happen in the last days. I'm going to jump down to verse 13. But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. Okay? So there's no point in trying to convince or trying to um, uh, uh, change the mind of an evil man. They've already, their lot has already been chosen. And we know evil men, and it says it right here, evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse. So there's no changing an evil or evil man or a seducer. Okay? They're going to continue being deceived and they're going to deceive other people themselves okay next scripture proverbs 10 verse 8 the wise <clears throat> the wise in heart will receive commandments but a prating fool shall fall okay the wise in heart will receive commandments but a prating fool shall fall right so we have so we just have to continue on in what we're doing as far as the commandments, which part of the commandments or what's commanded of the, the, the elect or the watchers is to continue pushing out this word, um, 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 you know, going out there in the highways and byways until we can't anymore. Continue doing these shows until we can't anymore. All right. Un until the kingdom come, uh, just like it says in uh, six, uh, Isaiah 60, I believe it's 62. Okay, continuing on until this whole kingdom falls, right? But a fool is gonna what is gonna fall. A prating fool shall fall. And the last scripture, another fool scripture, is in uh, Proverbs seventeen and ten. It says, a, "A reproof entereth more into a wise man than a hundred stripes into a fool." Right. So if you reprove, and and how does one get reproved by the scriptures? Okay, or by somebody seasoned in the scriptures and they call you out on something or correct you on something or reprove you on something all right you take emotions out of it and if their reproof is correct you will become more wise after that but a fool will never get it man reproof entereth more into a wise man than a hundred stripes into a fool so you can try to correct somebody on prophecy. You can try to correct somebody on the scriptures, but they ain't going to get it. That's why it says what? That's why the. That's why this show is called, if a nigga can't get it, and I'm not going to say, I'm going to you know, change the title up, but if a nigga can't get it, we moving on. Okay, and that was a phrase in, or a saying in the old school going back to the, uh, you know, you know, with the apostles and all that. Um, I believe... I forgot, I can't remember who, who who coined the phrase, but that's a good phrase, and it still stands attested to you. That, that could still be used today, obviously, right? If a nigga can't get it, the spirit is moving on, all right? So that's pretty much it. Lord willing, you brothers and sisters were edified. Uh, until the next show, Shalom.